Hey everybody, Drogith with game number two uh, of these uh, upper bracket finals between Recon uh, taking the green Terran position, this time in the left side of Icy Cup Ponry, and uh, Green Ranger taking the blue. I do have Force here uh, right now texting on his phone. Yeah, texting the girlfriend, making her, making sure that I'm still alive. I am, so don't worry about it. I'll finish this text. You can pick it up from here, though, John. E everything's good. Now, we, we, we are <laughs> doing... <laughs> A, uh, this is a TVT once more on Ponri. Ponri having a very short rush distance, uh, even though there is a slight curve to him. Uh, it goes straight across the center of the map, and it's just that little ramp going in the opposite direction to cause a little bit of distraction. So the uh, build that we thought might be possible, or we might see between the two, uh, between Ranger and Recon, being that um, that Marine SCV push more so than the one that Recon tried last time with the two SCVs and three Marines. Uh, this is definitely a more effective map to do that because of that short distance. Yeah, it's definitely a much shorter rush distance. And uh, interesting, you know, Recon last game went pretty solely bio-heavy, and it's effective and it's mobile, but the problem is that once you walk into siege lines, you're getting rolled pretty quickly. So we had some nice siege placement kind of in that final push there from Ranger, um, from TG and uh, that bio is not going to hold up well against that siege tank so didn't quite work in his favor unfortunately we, basically from recon we needed to see more dropping and we needed to see economic damage and he kind of didn't do either effectively he tried to do a couple drops but both of them got mopped up by uh by scvs so i just don't think that recon had the uh the micro skills to be able to handle his giant bio ball as well as the those drops that he did try unsuccessfully yeah well big problem is every time he dropped he was also getting pushed against from tg so he's probably focusing on that battles and then not focusing on stim microing the marines and so he just lost them to scvs basically is what happening so we need less reactionary drops from recon and more uh some proactive more, action that's yes. what we need yeah absolutely more initiated ones <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how this one plays out um both players opening very standard going the 12 racks 13 refinery 16 orbital command so very very standard so far um no one deviating quite yet it's really going to be the next building that decides what they're going for and what their intentions are green um, ranger and slightly ahead uh, and does have the factory coming down so looks like he's going to be going possibly for that two racks factory build that he did like so much and look at this on the other side of the board recon doing the same thing yep yep so either going for the uh, one 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 or the two racks factory both are still an option uh, one refinery for both players right now but actually a second refinery going right now for tg so tg gonna be looking to tech up a little bit harder than recon um, still on that one gas, you can see just pretty bio-heavy and then making a little use of that factory or maybe even seeing some Hellions out early. That could be possible as well. Uh, but definitely holding back on that refinery for the time being. Yes, and look at this, two SCVs over here. Uh, who will win between the two? Well, the Marine's coming up, so that kind of makes it a little <laughs> unfair. Um, so good job shooing away that Marine. But yeah, still on one refinery, so definitely going to be seeing not quite as tech-heavy from Recon, and uh, Ranger's coming out with that tech lab right now, Mr. TG, and wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Starport sometime soon, although, like you said, he does like Marine tanks, so might be seeing a second barracks, and there is a Starport coming out, and Re Recon finally coming out with that second refinery, so going to be moving out with some Hellions initially, and wow, Blue, fr blue Flame, right? Blue Flame Hellions, nice. very deadly against uh, low armor units, and seeing that Recon did favor, um, not low armor, the... Uh, we Whatever, about light, light, light armor units. There we the go. blue flame works <laughs> on the light armor units, not on the heavy armor units. SCVs, Marines. Yeah, absolutely. Toast. So the blue flame is going to be really effective. Getting that starport, likely to see a drop as well. Um, neither player feeling comfortable pushing right now. Both players pretty much with the same type of army right now, both with Marines and Hellions. Um, so, you know, pretty standard for both players. But again, we did have that little bit faster starport coming out for recon. And on the flip side, the faster blue flame from TG. Uh, it looks to me like T um, like Green Ranger, uh, TG is going to be doing more of a frontline harass, as I stand corrected, Recon moving the uh, moving his Hellions in the front, because it looked like he was pulling uh, the medevac out to do possibly a Hellion drop in the back, where Ranger could have gone in the front to try and pressure uh, the front of Recon's base. Yeah, you can see the medevac just finished right now for Recon, so again, Getting that uh, Infernal Pre-Igniter faster allowed him to upgrade those Hellions, but at the same time it put him behind on that Medevac. 
So we already have the medevac out right now for recon. He's gonna be pushing out. He's gonna be able to drop a little bit earlier, but once that blue flame finishes, what it actually just did, um, it's gonna put a little bit of pressure on recon and both players pushing right now at the exact same time. Catching in the middle though, really bad spot right now. Hellion's gonna do a lot of damage, but that blue flame coming into play and uh, Recon's in a lot of trouble right now. Oh yes, that's really gonna make a difference. Those Marines able to get into that medevac, so the medevac, so that medevac gonna try rush back into the main to get a defense set up in time, but no but Green Ranger able to get in there. Four Blue in. This is gonna be a big problem. Doing a nice job of spreading out those Marines <laughs> though to uh, prevent um, as much of the splash damage as possible. And I think this is a GG right now. Yeah, Inside of Recon's base with Blue Flame Hellions, not a lot of units right now. We do for see recon. a building block right there, uh, but uh, all these SCVs look like they're going to get roasty toasty. Grab me some marshmallows and a graham cracker. <laughs> yeah, um, at this point, Recon's <laughs> in a lot of trouble. Still have three <laughs> Blue Flame Hellions in and trapping his own SCVs to the slaughter. Drop. Finally dropping those depots, but oh. a little bit too late. And uh, that's a good game. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen it. There it was. Yeah, so absolutely. that was a quick number two. So Green Ranger takes that 2-0. Two 2-0. Nothing. Two nothing. All right. We are going to move on to the lower bracket finals where I think it's Recon versus someone else now. So let's go look at that. All right.